Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August 8th, read by Kate P. from Edinburgh, Scotland. On this date in 1879, Robert Holbrook Smith was born in St. Johnsbury, Vermont. Happy birthday, Dr. Bob, and thanks. AA Thoughts for the Day Growth Regardless of worldly success or failure, regardless of pain or joy, regardless of sickness or health or even of death itself, a new life of endless possibilities can be lived if we are willing to continue our awakening through the practice of AA's 12 steps. As Bill sees it, page 8. Thought to consider. AA is not something you join. It's a way of life. Acronyms. Program. People relying on God relaying a message. Just for today. Criticise neither from word of mouth. In my view, there isn't the slightest objection to groups who wish to remain strictly anonymous or to people who think they would not like their membership in AA known at all. That is their business, and this is a very natural reaction. However, most people find that anonymity to this degree is not necessary or even desirable. Once one is fairly sober and sure of this, there seems no reason for failing to talk about AA membership in the right places. This has a tendency to bring in other people. Word of mouth is one of our most important communications. So we should criticise neither the people who wish to remain silent, nor even the people who wish to talk too much about belonging to AA, provided they do not do so at the public level and thus compromise our whole society. As Bill sees it, page 120. Daily Reflections Made a List Made a list of all persons we had harmed. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 77. When I approached the eighth step, I wondered how I could list all the things that I have done to other people since there were so many people and some of them weren't alive anymore. Some of the hurts I inflicted weren't bad, but they really bothered me. The main thing to see in this step was to become willing to do whatever I had to do to make these amends to the best of my ability at that particular time. Where there is a will, there's a way, so if I want to feel better, I need to unload the guilt feelings I have. A peaceful mind has no room for feelings of guilt. With the help of my higher power, if I am honest with myself, I can cleanse my mind of these feelings. As Bill sees it, in partnership, as we made spiritual progress, it became clear that if we were ever to feel emotionally secure, we would have to put our lives on a give-and-take basis. We would have to develop the sense of being in partnership or brotherhood with all those around us. We saw that we would need to give constantly of ourselves without demand for repayment. When we persistently did this, we gradually found that people were attracted to us as never before. And even if they failed us, we could be understanding and not too seriously affected. The unity, the effectiveness and even the survival of AA will always depend on our continued willingness to give up some of our personal ambitions and desires for the common safety and welfare. Just as sacrifice means survival for the individual alcoholic, 
so does sacrifice mean unity and survival for the group and for AA's entire fellowship. 1. 12 and 12, pages 115 to 116. 2. AA Comes of Age, pages 287 to 288. Big Book Quote There is a principle which is a bar against all information, which is proof against all arguments, and which cannot fail to keep a man in everlasting ignorance. That principle is contempt prior to investigation. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, Appendix 2, Spiritual Experience, page 568. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. For a while, we are going back to the big book Alcoholics Anonymous and pick out passages here and there so that they may become fixed in our minds a little at a time, day by day, as we go along. There is no substitute for reading the big book. It is our Bible. We should study it thoroughly and make it a part of ourselves. We should not try to change any of it. Within its covers is the full exposition of the AA programme. There is no substitute for it. We should study it often. Have I studied the big book faithfully? Meditation for the day. All of life is a fluctuation between effort and rest. You need both every day. But effort is not truly effective until first you have had the proper preparation for it by resting in a time of quiet meditation. This daily time of rest and meditation gives you the power necessary to make your best effort. There are days when you are called on for much effort and then comes a time when you need much rest. It is not good to rest too long and it is not good to carry on great effort too long without rest. The successful life is a proper balance between the two. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be ready to make the proper effort. I pray that I may also recognise the need for relaxation. Hazelton Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, Minnesota, 55012. This is Kate, alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.